Hey guys, and welcome to this keynote video tutorial on how to create awesome openings for your presentations with the help of Crazy Talk Animator 2. So just to give you an idea, uh, Keynote has a lot of amazing animations that you can do, very simple, uh, cool animations that you can create. And many times when we start a presentation, we have our slides drop in, we have our text and everything. So as any presenter can tell you, one of the things that we're looking for is to leave a memorable uh, impression on our audience. We want people to not just pay attention um, in our presentations and be focused on what we're saying, but we also want them to remember our presentation. So today I'm going to show you how to create anima cool animated openings like this one here for your keynote presentations. We're going to do this with the help of Crazy Talk Animator 2, which is a very, very simple uh, and easy to use um, animation tool. So what I can do here is that I can create an animated avatar with a face photograph. So here I'm using the face photograph. I use a face photograph of Neil deGrasse Tyson. And I'm going to show you how to do this with Crazy Talk. So let's go into my Crazy Talk um, uh, animator here. And what I did is that I went into projects and I double clicked on this enter project already which is a pre-made animation with an avatar and some motions that were, uh, were already created inside okay so the really cool thing about crazy talk is the fact that I can grab a character like this and I can replace it with another character that I previously made now to show you how I did this um, you might have to watch one of my previous tutorials on how to create a talking face photo avatar. How to create a talking uh, character from a face photo. So I covered this extensively in my previous tutorial titled uh, Crazy Talk Animator 2 Create Talking Characters from Photos. So inside I went through all the steps of importing a photograph, dropping in all the facial points for my character, okay. These are facial points for the eyes, for uh, for, uh, for the eyes, the mouth, the mouth, and everything. Also, how to add virtual um, teeth to my character, and how to add virtual eyes. In the end, I could remove the background, and I can have my final avatar with a comic body and a face photo on top. So you can watch this tutorial up here if you want to learn all these steps on how to create this character. Once you create the character, you can save it in your content manager and simply replace it with any of the animation projects that we have inside. So now we can have my project like this, okay? And I can get rid of that door if I'd like to. So here, let me extend this project all the way to the end. And I'm going to select this door and we can delete that, okay? Because I only want the animation of my character walking in and standing like that. Now, I would like to create another animation where he's walking to the side. So here, let me do something. Let me first, let me try to expand this so that we can encompass my character better. Just like that, okay? Remember that in Crazy Talk, we have this blue uh, rectangle here. So this is this, the, the, the viewing area. I want everything to be inside that area. So what I, I'm going to do is that at the end of this animation, I can create another animation. I can go into the Puppet Editor, and I can go into the Body Puppeteering Panel, and I can choose any other animation. For example, I can choose something like Boxing, or I can go into Mood and say Cheer, if I want him to cheer. In this case, I'd like him to just do a simple walk. So I can just go to Walk, and I can have that there. And I can record this if I'd like. So one, two, three, four, and stop. Say just four steps. Okay, and obviously, I can have a move to the right to simulate as if he took those steps. So, if he was, for example, here. Oh, hold up. I need to create that keyframe first. So, give me a second. We have our guy walking. He's entering. Right about there, okay? So, now, I want to create that keyframe for my guy. So, I'm going to go into the 3D Motion Editor. Let me expand this a bit. And here's what we can see what we did, see? The first one is the motion where he peeked in. Now the second one is the motion where he's walking. 
So I want him to walk from one side to the other. So what I'm going to do is that before I start, right at that point where he's there, I'm going to drop a keyframe. Let me zoom in inside. Okay, so this is a static keyframe telling the software that's his initial position. And then I'm going to scroll forward. I'm going to scroll forward here all the way to the end. So let's say he takes one, two, three, about four steps, right? And I'm going to move him to the side, maybe around about there. And as soon as I let this go, you see that we created a second keyframe. So the first keyframe, he's in that position, and then he starts walking. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, and that's pretty good. Now at the end, I can drop in another animation, and this time I want to use a wave animation that I have inside. So I'm going to go, going to go into animation, my template, and we have a bunch of animations that come with the software. If not, you can acquire stuff, um, additional content packs for this. So I am going to choose this wave one, and I'm just going to drop it inside, just like that. So that's pretty cool. And I want my project to end right there. So let me bring this range all the way to the end. So I have one project, I have two projects, I have three motion projects. So let's see what that looks like. I'll be walking. Okay, he steps in, and then I have him walking from one side to the other, and then performing. Obviously, you can take a little time to perfect that animation. I can play around with it to make it look a little more smoother. So I can have an animation like this one, which I'm loading at this moment, nice and polished, where I have him walking in. I have him smiling, too. So this was done simply by going into the face puppet panel, which I'm going to show you right now also. The way I did this facial animation is that I, w I selected my character and I went into the puppet editor, okay? And remember that we were working with the body puppet. So simply switch to the face puppet and then you can choose any one of these profiles and you could generate your own animation like that, okay, your own face, an uh, face animation. Let me get rid of this head motion. See that? And I can record this in real time. Great. So now that we have our, our project ready, he comes in, smiles, he takes a step, then he does his little walk, and then he ends up on the right side and he waves. So the last thing we need to do is to export our project. So the way I'm going to do this is that before we even start, I want to create, I want to have a, a black background. This is because my character has a, a black outline, okay? And I want this outline to blend with a dark background of my presentation. So it's fairly simple. Just go into Project Settings, Background Color, and I'm going to drop this to black so that it blends in with the outline of the clothing of the character. And we are ready. So simply render. Remember, you have to select your character if that's what you want to render. So I'm going to go to Render, Quick Capture, and Animated GIF. And then inside, I can drop down the quality a bit if I'd like. Switch it to Transparent, which means that everything in the back, I want that to be transparent. And the range, the range of my project. This ends up at 372, and I want it to start at frame 1. Okay, so once again... This will play back. This is what we're going to export. Him coming in, stepping, walking, and then saluting at the end. And I only want this to loop once. So we are ready. I can simply choose to export this and wait for it to render and save in my desktop. And once this finishes, I can actually close my panel, and you can see that I have my animated GIF saved on my desktop. Now remember, I'm using my uh, I'm using Mac, uh, Mac, the Mac version of Crazy Talk Animator 2. So this is going to immediately save onto my desktop, and then I just simply drag and drop this GIF into my keynote presentation, and I can play this back. 
You can see that we have my character. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position him just at the edge of my image. Maybe I can scale him down a little just to make sure that he fits in into the presentation. So let's try this again. I'll select him and that's where he starts. So let me move him right to the side, right about there, okay? And I'm going to do one more thing. I will, um, I'm going to go to, well, since he's selected, this GIF is selected, I'll go to Movie, and I and repeat, I'm going to say None. And I want this to start Movie on Click. Then I'm, I have to do one last thing. I want to right-click on my GIF, and I want to send to Back, because I want this to be behind my image. Maybe I can hide him a bit. So if I play this back, you can see my title, and I click my mouse again, then you're going to see my GIF perform. So this is really, really cool for when you want to create memorable openings for your presentations. Okay, When you want to create something that people are going to remember you for. So you can create your own face avatar, or if you're talking about your city's mayor, you can do this. Or if you want to talk about your company's CEO or, or anything, anyone in particular, you can use that facial character inside. And obviously, besides creating these body animations, you can create um, facial animations too, like this one right here, where you have your character moving his lips about. Okay, so great. That's this. That's it for this quick tutorial on how to create uh, face, how to create uh, avatars from face, photo, characters in Crazy Talk. So we hope you can use this in your keynote presentations and stick around for more tutorials. Thank you.